everyone and so welcome back to some Staxel. So today's video is going to work a little bit differently than my usual let's play stuff. But uh, <laughs> I've had a few people asking me like how do I build or like is there tips or tricks to building and I thought I would do a whole video just on tips and tricks to building. So uh, they don't really come in any specific order as far as the tips go. They're just kind of um, helpful little things. They're not going to be like, oh, you should place a block here or here. It's going to be just general tips um, and ways that building can be simplified or easier. So without further ado, let's get started. One important thing to keep in mind is to have... Oh, Hello, is to have an open mindset when it comes to building. So a lot of people, whenever they first start building, go into it wanting it to be perfect right out of the gate. And although that's like a great thing to want, oftentimes it doesn't quite pan out that way. And that's entirely okay. So I recommend going into a building knowing that you're gonna mess up a little bit, but just stick with it because eventually it'll be something that you're proud of. Like even this building, although I have a lot of work to be done on it, um, like fixing the roofs and this needs to be moved over a block, just stuff like that, but because I stuck with this build, um, even though it wasn't originally what I wanted, I'm very proud of it today, and uh, yeah, so just stick with your builds and don't expect perfection right out of the gate. So one of the things that I highly recommend is whenever you're stuck for ideas, go to the Staxel Discord. Um, a lot of people have shown their really creative and uh, interesting builds. I know one person was building a treehouse. Um, even just like this is just stunning, like the amount of work that people put into things and uh, there's a whole tag on the Discord called Art and Screenshots. So if you guys are ever stuck, I recommend that. Or another good thing is to go over to Google and search the similar block building uh, games like Minecraft, Terraria, see what people have built in those games and uh, you can draw a little bit of inspiration from them. Or you can just start building and see where it goes. Either way, it's always good if you're stuck for uh, inspiration. Something I really recommend doing is to start your build in creative mode because especially on the first day, time completely stops. So you can build as much as you want in creative and stuff and uh, essentially just work out all the rough kinks of your project and whatnot. I know that whenever I was first building my actual house in this one, and although it is unfinished, it did help to mess around in creative and get a rough idea of where I wanted to place things, where I wanted my tiny garden. And just stuff like that. So creative is your friend. Um, although I don't really recommend playing in creative because items duplicate. And it doesn't feel quite as authentic, at least in my opinion. But it's really up to you guys. This game is your own. So for the actual building portion of this tips and tricks. The first thing I recommend is buying the shipping uh, thingy. I forgot exactly what it's called. Oh, I had a garbage twig in here. That's really professional of me. And also the shopping catalog. You can buy each for 2500 And uh, it's really useful. Here, I'll just show you instead of just talking about it here. So, uh, you can have pretty much any block imaginable in the game through the shopping catalog and you can just order them. So let's say I wanted um, this pink checkered carpet. I can say the amount that I want and then I can order for the price. So it's really not bad and it's better than going to the market every day and just hoping they have the blocks you want. It makes it a lot simpler. Um, there is something in the game currently to where uh, the more you buy of something the price increases. Or um, whenever you sell it back the price decreases. It's one or the other. I'm not entirely sure. But just that's something to kind of be aware of. But if you're just using them for building it's not really a big issue. But yeah that's why I definitely recommend uh, having these. They're kind of a must in my game. One thing that has helped me immensely when it comes to building is starting off with a color palette because oftentimes you might look at a block and be like, I'm not entirely sure what this color would go with. Um, and if you lay them all out next to your build, which I have done, <laughs> then you can see, oh, okay, so the white does go with the blue. Are these bricks blend in together a little bit too much? Maybe I should change that. It's overall very helpful to have a color palette set up and you don't necessarily have to lay them out like I did, but even just having them in your inventory or looking in the catalog and being like, okay, I want to stick to the colder spectrum of the colors or I want to be in a warm area. Either way, it's just nice to have a general idea of where you're going with the build, so a color palette definitely helps. Okay, I cannot stress this next tip enough, so landscape is your friend. <laughs> Sounds simple enough and uh, pretty self-explanatory, but most people whenever they start building they flatten out an entire area and even though the farm that we are given is pretty flat, 
Um, it definitely is more immersive to have natural landscape and to work with it than against it. For example, my uh, little apiary, uh, I guess haven over here. So I just kind of nestled everything into the landscape and whenever I have the full thing covered in apiaries, it's gonna look amazing and just like, like it was part of the original game and it wasn't just like flattened down and put there and it can just make it a lot more immersive. That's why like I keep things like the natural trees that come with the farm, some of these rocks. Um, the only times I've ever really, even this tree that's like cutting in my castle, but yeah, it's just, it's definitely, <laughs> it definitely looks better to have some of the landscape that came with the original farm in here. And uh, you can always add your own landscape because the shopping catalog, I almost said shipping catalog, has, um, oh, we got a ruffle dress today. Sorry, besides the point, um, <laughs> has flowers and bushes that you can put down and even vines that you can grow up alongside your house. And it just creates this, I guess, feeling that the building was meant to be there and not just placed down randomly. So, yeah. I guess perhaps the only official build tip that I have for this is to understand the build system is different than anything that we've encountered before in games. So in Staxel there's a sort of physics system, whereas compared to Minecraft, a block can float. Here if you take apart this one, they both come down. So it's just important to understand and mess around with building, which is again why I want to go back to that building creative for a little bit, get used to the building system because it is weird. And also, uh, to be noted, some blocks are three wide and stuff, and whereas some are two. So it's often good to plan ahead and know what you're working with as far as like how wide the blocks are or um, how tall <laughs> compared. Because like if this door was one taller, I'd be a little happier. But uh, sadly, I should have planned that out a little bit beforehand. And yeah, I think that's... Uh, <laughs> That's going to do it for this video, so I know it's kind of a hot mess. I'm not really the best at doing these tips and tricks, but I do kind of want to put my advice out there, I guess. <laughs> and uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know, or if I didn't clarify something enough, I will be more than happy to do so. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. And a fun fact, I have a full series on this game, and also a few other new farming sims, such as my time at Porsche, um, Harvest Moon, Cattails, and stuff on my channel. So please go check those out, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this helps you all. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Until next time, bye!